Hello, it's Lee here. Welcome to Iron My Own Blocks. In this one, I'm going to be taking you through my burst coin earnings for the previous month. So today is uh, 1st of March, and I'm going to be showing you my burst coin earnings for the previous month, uh, February. So this is a question that I'm asked quite a lot regarding um, earnings of uh, mining efforts, um, exactly which coins bring in uh, what money, um, how well I'm doing with it, how much my hard drives bring in, and you know whether it provides a return, whether it's profitable. Um, quite a lot of questions along those kind of bases. So I thought I'd make this uh, video for you guys and just show you what my burst coin earnings were for the previous month uh, based on um, my hardware. Okay, so if we go to the uh, website, which is burstcoin.biz, so this is the main burst coin explorer, um, I'll enter my address. So this is my primary address that I use for burst coin mining. Uh, previously I used it kind of for savings and everything, but now I just use it solely for um, just mining. So you can see that's one of my uh, usernames here, Risky Fire. I use that quite often on forums and stuff. Um, but anyway, right, so further down we've got all these uh, transactions on the right hand side, and we've got my forge blocks on the left hand side. If we move up, we've got mine blocks. So as of today, 1st of March, my total mine burst coin blocks is 707. So if we actually click on this, it brings us to a, uh, let's open it in a new tab. It will show us a nice um, chart of all my uh, money efforts. You can see I've been mining for a, a very long time, barring this little gap in the middle. Um, but if we look back at this last month, um, I'll just kind of explain the month, um, how I went through it. So we've got the uh, 1st of February here, so that's where we're starting our accounting period from. And on that day, we kind of got one block. So on average, overall, we're roughly getting about one block a day. Um, so the other guys that have seen my hardware know that I have um, 64 terabytes, um, or actually 63 terabytes, um, plotted for burst coin mining. Um, so in actual Windows format, it works out to about 57 terabytes. Um, but anyway, so on the whole, for the actual whole month, roughly was getting about one block per day with BuzzCon with that hardware. The only exception is that between this period here, which was about the 11th to the sort of 14th, 15th, um, and actually one or two days um, afterwards, I had some problems there. So all this start of the month and last month, I was basically solo mining. Uh, which is you know mining directly to your own uh, wallet and all the blocks that you find um you get all the rewards and all the transaction fees um so that's sort of been solo mining for quite a long time and um, but however on the uh the 11th or 10th or the 11th i had some problems with the wallet i couldn't synchronize it and um, in the end i just kind of um i gave up on that on this particular machine i just couldn't, could no longer get it synchronized and so what i did was switch to the uh, burst.ninja pool and then so from the 14th of february from that point onwards, it's all been pool mined. So that was just to explain uh, that sort of uh, part for you. If we go back to the main sort of um, explorer there, so you can see on this uh, left hand side, you can see that these are the most recent blocks that were found. So these ones here are all uh, basically rewards that blocks that I found, but then were mined for the pool, and then you get a share back from the pool. I know that's uh, kind of uh, complicated to explain, but that's how it is. Um, if I show you the, um, so let me uh, open up the uh, Excel here. So we have um, forge blocks here. Okay, so from this point onwards, actually here. So this is all the month of February. And you can see during this month, I found all of these blocks. So it's actually 28 blocks that I found for the month of February. Now, if I was just purely a solo miner, I should have mine got all these rewards um, and actually also the uh, transaction fees there so that comes to uh, 61 free free two so if I just decided mine on with my hardware I would have got uh, 61,332 burst coin um, as it turned out from the 14th so from this point onwards here um, I was actually pull mining and um, it's kind of weird actually because during that period of time, I only should have mined, if I was a solo miner, I should have mined, sorry, it's actually that block there. I should have only mined, um, yeah, 32,000 uh, approximately. Um, but actually I got paid out quite a bit more than that. So just checking my notes here, I actually received from the uh, pool um, 41,000. So I actually got paid kind of 10,000 more 
than, than I was expecting. So I think that's because of the actual contributions and the overall efforts that you're putting into rules. So I probably got quite close on a few blocks, but I wasn't quite the actual block finder. So I think that's the reason for that. If I can just sh change to the um, RXL there. Yeah, so you can see here, this is just the Excel breakdown of those transactions. So these are all the ones that I've been paid out from the pool during that same period of time. So you can see the bottom right hand corner, I'm not too sure if you can see that from my head's in the way. But they actually come to uh, 41,249. And um, like I say, the uh, the actual blocks was like 32,000. So, so I just wanted to share that part with you. If I go back to the actual uh, burstcoin.biz, I know this video is a little bit kind of um, all over the place. Uh, apologies for that, but I just kind of wanted to show you in real time, just, just kind of my results. So from the burstcoin.biz, if we go to the actual um, calculator, I think I've already got it open on one of these um, tabs. Yep, so we're on the calculator here. So the calculator uses uh, the current block reward, which is this. And by the way, that goes down um, every month. Um, so we're currently on 2146. Previous month, it was 23 something. So roughly it's uh, declining about um, 150 coins um, per month, roughly. Um, you've also got this place target, which is essentially the network difficulty over the last um, 360 blocks, which is one day. So here if we put my um, total plot size. So the other thing as well here is like it doesn't tell you whether this plot size is in uh, the raw size, as in the actual uh, raw capacity size, or whether it's in the Windows format size, but I'll show you the results of both anyway. So here if we use my total plotted capacity is uh, 63 terabytes and you can see down the bottom here that monthly we should be getting um, 93 to 82 and um, but like I showed you on those previous results um, mine was what's he I think got the number written down here sorry um, I actually earned 69,260 and I think part of that doesn't actually include those other network fees so yeah, it's quite a bit of a difference. So the calculator says that I should have 93 and I'm actually getting uh, 63. So it's uh, 63, sorry, brain's on, um, 260 is what I worked out um, my actual earnings. So you can see on that basis that I have earned for this month in actual earnings, I've earned uh, $66.43. So that's kind of um, an average based on the whole sort of month. Uh, lots of uh, factors affect this, but this is actually my real um, essential earnings. So it also depends on how often you actually sell your burst coins. Um, you might sell them at the peaks or, you know, if you get unlucky, you might sell them at the drops. On average, I kind of sell it on an average kind of priced basis. Um, but that is my actual earnings of burst coin for this previous month. Um, the actual calculator says that I should have had quite a bit more. So if you go 93, to a two. So yeah, it's basically thirty dollars um, difference according to the actual calculator. So it's quite quite a bit of a variation there. So one of the things that I kind of wanted to get across in this video is that the actual calculator take it with a, a pinch of salt. Normally it comes in for me around about twenty percent. Uh, it overestimates by twenty percent to your actual earnings. Uh, the other thing is to consider as well. Is with burst coin and um, there's lots of different factors that are at play um so you have to kind of um average and best guess um all of the actual information that's available to you so first of all the actual rewards per block are going down but on average it's reducing by about 150 per month so what you're earning this month will be reduced for next month there's also the network difficulty and obviously have more people uh, mining and joining the network the network increases makes it more difficult everyone gets less um you know proportionately. The other thing is the actual uh, burst coin price relative to Bitcoin and um, so that's obviously always changing it was recently I think it hit a peak of 120 um, satoshis uh, this month so obviously if you sold at that point you would have um, you know had like a 20 or 30 percent profit over you know the price that it is now. The other thing to consider as well is the actual Bitcoin price relative to like the US dollar and um, the Bitcoin price is currently very high to the dollar at the moment as well. So you've got all these different factors um, that are at play. Um, so working out an actual very specific amount of your earnings is is um, very difficult to do. So I just kind of average it. And what I've actually been saying to people is that I kind of expect a, a return on my hard drives between sort of two to three years. 
And now some people, that's not fast enough for some people. Some people are looking for the fast cash. Um, but for me, that's fine because it's a good steady um, passive income. Um, it's not certainly something that's going to make you rich unless you scale it, you know, absolutely huge. But to get a two to three year return on, on something is really quite good. The hard drive is going to keep their value for most of that period of time. They don't drop like graphics cards and they use um, very little power as well. So to get a return in, over that sort of period of time is absolutely fine for me. And, it, you know, and if first coin picks up in price um, then you'll make your returns um, faster also the other thing with hard drives as well they're also uh, multi-use I mean you can sort of sell them and get your money back they're useful for data uh, you know storage obviously um, but you can also use them for Cycoin and storage and possibly made safe and stuff like that in the future as well so um, I think hard drive mining is is here to stay so anyway that just about um, wraps up this video I just kind of want to share um, all that information with you. If you've got any questions or comments, um, be sure to ask them below and I'll be uh, happy to get back to you guys. Okay, so I think we'll leave it there. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.